gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized for two minutes. Thank you. Apprenticeship programs are incredibly important for job growth in the state of Wisconsin and around the nation. And insofar as this bill highlights apprenticeships, that's a good thing. Um, I was talking again to one of our uh, programs this morning in Wisconsin, and they could desperately use more people going through these apprenticeships and making these seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollar a year jobs. And I think it's particularly important to get more people in these in the trades because we have so many people going to four year university and maybe they wind up going to apprenticeship five or six years later. Uh, maybe they wind up heavy in debt and if they had made the made the move to a construction apprenticeship earlier on they'd be a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, this bill is not quite exactly what we need. Uh, the registered apprenticeship program through Department of Labor is important, but for many employers it works fine. However, it is a one-size-fits-all approach. In fiscal year 2019, over 250,000 individuals entered registered apprenticeships and only 81,000 graduated from the system. Over the years, some employers have expressed that participation in registered apprenticeships allows the Department of Labor to dictate skills an employer must provide to apprentices in specific industries rather than allowing the business to determine that themselves. Let's face it, employers know what kind of on-the-job training and vocational education their apprentices need more than the federal government does. IRAP still would have to comply with federal standards and would have been overseen by third parties such as trade and industry groups, nonprofit organizations, unions, and joint labor management organizations. Of course, the idea of the IRAPs was totally shut down, probably for two reasons. It took control of the apprenticeship program out of the hands of the federal government, and quite frankly, it was an idea proposed by Donald Trump, who uh, did a lot of good things. Our, our workforce is evolving, so should, our, so should our models of job training and apprenticeships. I've also offered an amendment to this bill concerning the definition of recognized post-secondary credential. Under the bill, recognized post-secondary credential has a meaning given the definition in the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. That definition should specifically include technical diplomas and degrees which differ from general associate degrees. I look forward to revisiting that when the House brings up we owe it for reauthorization. Thank you.